and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. And that is it. So just change the number. That's two, three, four, five, six, and a twelve. So if I run the program, that's it. Cost code is there. So we can link student number one with the ID number, name, and cost code. Alright, so the next thing we need to do now is enter details for our register to mark the register. So let's get, um, let's go straight in here. Yeah, that's fine. Combo box, we need one combo box right here. Don't forget that. Yeah, that's good enough. That's combo box one. Let me just copy that. Hold it down and bring it down. That's combo box two. I might not change the names. Three. Okay, I'll just speed that up now and get back to you guys. Okay, guys, I have all of my combo box there. So let's just open the property. That's combo box one. I haven't actually changed the names. Maybe I'll just leave it like that and get this tutorial over with. So let's go to the code area. It's either I, maybe I should continue with my form activate, uh, form initialize, or maybe we should try out the activate, form activate. That's, that's it right there. Yeah, why not? Let's give that a try. So we can just say combo, combo box, no, combo box one dot add item and what item would you like to add i like to add the following so that's for combo box one so we we now speed that up and there that's what we have for combo box one which means we have present absent sick late authorized absent so if i Run this program right now. Drop this down. I have all of those. So we can also maybe we should even incorporate something else. Um, and we also need to increase this font size. That looks too small. So let's increase the font size. As a font right there. Uh, let's go for maybe 12 make that bold okay so let's see how it looks run it again yeah that looks good okay I'm gonna now repeat the same thing for these guys right here okay so now double click that's combo box 2 go to the codes right here just copy that This is combo box two. Okay, we have two. And we have three. And four. Okay, so if I Maybe I should just change one or two things here and this becomes present okay and so on that will become absent and this is sick we have a late here Authorize absent there. So let's run it and see how it looks like. Let's see. That's fine. Authorize absent. Okay, that's that's good enough for me. All right. So I will now 
populate the rest of the combo box and get back to you guys okay guys I've used this very method there so to initialize the following on the combo box I have 12 of those and that's the very first combo box the one right at the top and we have the second one up to uh, this one you will have to go so let's delete that one because I just copy and paste okay we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 so that's correct so if I run this probe now let's run it and see alright so let's just select any one of these yeah, they are all functioning as expected but supposing I would like to populate yeah this one there's something missing there suppose I would like to populate the whole system with my combo box number one and that's the real challenge this very one if I click on that I would like it to populate this so that means we need an if statement combo box 12 we need to get that sorted I think that might be the one that was deleted so let's see and what number was that let's go back here scroll right down oh it's combo box 13 all right yeah that's fine that's true we have we did we do have combo box 13 so let's look for combo box 3 copy that and just add one right in front of it paste and that is that taken care of there that's good all right back to our problem if we have if we select that we would like to populate the whole system okay maybe we need a command button here yeah, let's get a command button there right there yeah that's fine just draw a command button here okay come in here and check the property it's 12 make that bold delete the text content delete that I need an arrow right there okay I need an arrow so okay the still the font will be winging so all I just need to enter in there is hold down the alt key and just on the number part press one four nine and that is what you get okay it's like an arrow so maybe I should increase the font size let's see if I can increase that to about maybe 24 let's see what will happen okay we well, need more space yeah that's fine 24 that's fine okay move this in a little bit and bring this guy in a little bit more okay that's looking good so which means let's save that first if I run my program now I select any of this component I can just click and this will be populated okay that's good alright just remember this number is make sure you have your wind uh, that's it right there winding yeah, winding actually selected and hold down the alt key once you're in the caption hold down the alt key and press 149 so let me just put that here so that I don't forget myself. I will be Alt key plus one four nine. All right. So so that will be font font equals wing winging and press out that's it 
okay that's just for that command button so the command button let me cut it off and give it a name actually so that will be let's just give it a name it's command button one so let's call it uh, cmd cmd register okay right inside cmd register double click on that and just paste this there so that's how i've got the font right so let's move on so right inside command button register which is this one i'm going to enter the following lines of code let's see the caption do we have a caption here or do we have a text Oh, it is a text okay so all we need to now do is since this is a text double click on that let's close this and write in here enter as follows if combo box one dot the text If combo box take this off one dot text equals as follows if it's equals that I think we don't need this yeah if it's equals this then we say combo box 2 combo box 2 equals that else if okay this is else if if here as well another else if here and one more make sure your end if is entered as well so else if combo box one equals zero if it's equals else if is if it's sick else if if is we need a late as well else if if is authorized absence so if it's authorized absence this is for present so that will become dash present and this becomes absent and this is just to try it out it's not okay we have present here we have absent just in case and this become absent we have sick and this become sick we have late that become late so let's try this out first and just see what will happen if this is sick let's see what will happen that become if this is absent that become absent that's correct okay let's see sick that's good late okay we left that out all right that's fine so it's working as expected so what i'll do now is just speed that up and get back to you guys so double double click on that all right so let's speed it up so actually speeding it up means copying and pasting so let me just show you an example of what I'm talking about and that goes for that's for three
a 10 right there. We have 11 right here. 12, we have a 13. So if I run it, so that you guys see how the first one works. All right, you can see that. So all I just need to do is copy and paste to take care of the rest. Back in the code, I will speed that up now. Okay, guys. This is how the codes are looking right now. You can see that. Which means if I select present on combo box one, all of this happens. If I select absent on combo box one, this happens. Everyone is absent. And if I select S on combo box one, the rest of the combo box becomes sick. So which makes life easy for you if you are a teacher or a lecturer in a college or something. So if I run the program right now, supposing I select present. That's it, everyone is present. Thanks to this, my magic button here. But supposing Tony Crosby is absent. So that makes life easy. He's the only one absent. And the rest of them are present but how many students are present and that is what we need to take care of now so in that case we need another button here and we also need a clear button maybe we need something to maybe a text box to actually confirm either a text box or a list box or a label sorry to confirm who is present or who is absent I think a label would be would be much better because you cannot change it you cannot change a label okay all right let's give that a shot and see okay let's start with the label we draw the label right there let's see there okay that's our label it's label eight and we also need a button let's just try it out with just one we need a button that will say something like save okay so we need this we need this very label change the font size to 12 as well font size make that 12 and get it centered align centered oh uh, yeah why not get it centered and uh, the text content or maybe i should just change the appearance of the label first right there for the style yep that's fine let's change the back color to white as well there and if i click on save so let's change the name of that to cmd save there done and the caption okay and this very label we call that lbl rage one there and get rid of the content in the caption okay it's looking good okay the next thing is then maybe I should use the form initialize so if I run the program I want this label to disappear so let's come in here but well, we can click on form initialize okay why not let's use form activate okay let's see it seems to have a lot of code here so let's say label one dot visible equals false Alright, so if I run it, that will become false. Okay, copy that. Run the program. Level 1 is false. So, if I select this, populate, click on this, I expect label, the label register to show up. So, let's do that. 